Hello, this is my presentation of illegal immigration in the United States. What is illegal immigration? Illegal immigration is the migration of people across national borders in a way that violates the immigration laws of the destination country. Here we see a map of the United States and the dark red states are the ones found where the most immigrants live. This is the U.S.-Mexico border. It stretches all the way from California to Texas and there's several spots where you can cross. There's stretches of fence and the Rio Grande River. Reasons for illegal immigration. A lot of Hispanics lived in America during the Mexican-American War. So they, once you've seen a great country, you want to go back there and live there. So I see why they'd want to come back. They migrate because of lack of jobs in Mexico. The Barcero program between 1942 and 1964 allowed 4.6 million This is a drug smuggling tunnel that the U.S. found and was a major break because a lot of drugs come from Mexico to America and the cartel has to be very tricky about how they get it over here. So this was a full-fledged tunnel from Mexico to America that was air conditioned that they used to transport drugs. Um, reasons for illegal immigration. In 1970, the average family size of Hispanics was nine people. There became overcrowding, which caused migration. So this is after the immigration law of 1965 that capped the visas. So the large families who couldn't make it on their own, they really had no choice but to illegally migrate. Many Hispanic families have connections in America. A lot of them have relatives or people who came here a long time ago and haven't came back and told them how great the land of opportunity is. And drugs is a major reason for illegal crossing of the border. Most of the time it's not permanent, but there are situations where they get stuck over here. Uh, this is pictures of one of the fences that um, for Mexico and the United States that is a Hispanic officer looking over into America. And then there is the Mexican-American border where the cars are crossing and they're checking them. Facts about illegal immigration. There were 11.2 million illegal immigrants in the United States in 2012, which makes up about 3.5% of the U.S. population. Hispanics and Latin Americans make up about 80% of illegal immigrants in the United States, which is understandable because it's a bordering country with overcrowding, and Mexico is a developing country, and the United States is a developed country. So this is the land of opportunity, so they would love to migrate here and the borders touch, so it makes it a lot more convenient. And illegal immigration makes up 5.1% of the U.S. labor force. More facts about illegal immigration. 86% of illegal immigrants in the U.S. have been living in America for more than seven years. As Asians make up 9% of illegal immigration in America, which is very interesting. I did not know that. $4.3 billion paid a year pays for health care for illegal immigration in America. And five, the five most populated states with illegal immigrants are Florida, Illinois, California, New York, and Texas. Why is this such a big deal to wrap this all up? Illegal immigration is such a big deal in the United States because of money. Illegal immigrants do not pay taxes, so the government is missing 5.1% of taxes that they deserve. That is a significant amount of money when you do the math. It comes out to be $11.2 billion in unpaid taxes. 
And there's so many more stats and so many more reasons why illegal immigrants come to America. This was just a brief presentation about some of the main points of why they come to America and why it's such a big deal. Thank you.